All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Man, it's been a while since I've done a video just talking about, you know, other things. But um, I want to talk about, as you can see here, this is elite brainwashing, right? So these people right here, these artists, these athletes uh, that have sold out to the Illuminati, the uh, Satanic Cabal, um, the, you know, the, uh, the New World Order Antichrist system, they are all made to throw up this, these signs, okay? And there's no clue that all of these people, you know, have some type of fame or had some type of relevancy at one point, and they all threw up the 666 sign over their eye, the eye of horror, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, so no, 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 uh, no surprise there, right? Um, they're made to do it, and if they don't do it, they they're they're punished. It's it's called rituals, okay. But anyways, let's uh, let's go move on from that. You guys already a lot of you guys already know about that, and uh, some of you guys know about it, and you're still listening to these people. You're still worshiping the Baphomet. You're still worshiping Satan because when you listen to this stuff, you're worshiping Satan. You know that, right? Because they are sold out. This is why God doesn't like us listening to this type of music, okay? The mainstream music and uh, the people who are sold out in satanic contracts of Satan, when you listen to that music, you're worshiping Satan. When you go to their concerts, you're worshiping Satan. When you go to their movies, you're worshiping Satan, okay? And that this is why God doesn't like, this is why God doesn't like sports. He doesn't like, you know, uh, he'll deal with this from time to time because he knows uh, we, we know we, we got to play, we got to exercise and stuff, but he doesn't like us. He doesn't want us being in sports. Okay. Sports leagues and stuff like that. And the reason why is, is because there's a lot, they do, they, they, they sell their, you know, the companies that are behind the sports and the owners are part of the satanic cabal, right? So they're part of the, uh, the, the, the new world order agenda. And so that's why, uh, when you see people in sports in, in the NBA and football and stuff, they, they throw up these signs as well. And they also, they have a lot of rituals. They do ritual as they, they do, uh, masonry handshakes and things like that. And, uh, they, they don't hide it anymore. Back then they used to hide a lot of this stuff. Now, it's because of social media. They, they can't hide it anymore. So you know, they do it right in front of your face, right? When you're sitting on in center court or you're sitting in the on, in the front courts, right, in a basketball game, you'll see them do masonry handshakes and ritual handshakes and all types of stuff right in front of your, right in front of your face. They don't care anymore, right? Because they know society is so blind that society doesn't care, right? So um, yeah, that's what that's what happened. When you put it in people's face so long, they, they stop caring. Okay, so and so what I want to talk about is the brainwashing of the not America, but the other countries that um, that America has basically used as test dummies. Okay, because, um, you know, I saw a post on Twitter, I, I made a response to it on Twitter, it was about Iran. And uh, it was talking about how the Iranian people are being basically, you know, just just put into torture uh, because of their evil, corrupt regime. OK, and the key word was unarmed, that the unarmed Iranians, right, citizens. Now, what video did I show you guys a couple weeks ago? of uh, people unarmed and running away and couldn't really defend themselves. That was in Iraq, right? So Iraq, they're, they're sitting there, the po most of the population is unarmed, right? And we did that for a reason, right? We did that for a reason. We took their wealth so they wouldn't be able to buy guns to shoot our own uh, military while we were there. But that's different. Iran, we did, we haven't invaded Iran. Iran doesn't have guns. Iran citizens can't own guns. Iran citizens are being manipulated and destroyed and brainwashed by the corrupt regime. Okay? Africa, same thing. Many of those people in Africa, they don't have guns. They don't have anything to protect themselves. They they might have things that they built like maybe some uh, an an axe or or some uh, and, uh you know, arrows and things like that, right? And knives, but then many of them don't have guns in Africa. So when you tell them that they need they, they they should have a gun to protect themselves, their brainwashing their brainwashing kicks in, right? They, they, the what they've been told all their life kicks in, 
right? No, we don't need guns. We're, we're not we're not part of evil regimes. So, you know, we're, we're not part of the evil people with guns because that's what they've been told. That's what they have been told by not their own country, right? They've been told that by America. They've been told that by the Western world. The cabal, the Illuminati, the New World Order have gone into Africa, gone into South America, gone into uh, the Middle East, and have convinced these people through media and propaganda and newspapers outlets that people with guns are evil. So this is why when you talk, when you go back and you post something about, you know, having guns and being free and being protected and be able to protect your family, they cannot stand you. And one of the things that one of the ladies was talking about was, was like, it was like, uh, you you people are, are, are just as corrupt, uh, with, for your guns as, 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 you know, as the government, you're part of them because you own the guns. So you're telling me if I don't own guns, I become you, meaning a, a, a person that is, that is unprotected and, and can be, you know, basically, uh, wiped out at any second by, by the, uh, cabal government or by the elites. Okay. So it's, it's the brainwashing is there and it was on purpose. They, they did the brainwashing on purpose. They made sure that these people hated guns. Okay. They made sure that, that, that these people do not like guns, do not like protecting themselves, enjoy being raped and purged and, and, and allowing their lands to be stolen from them and their golds and minerals and stuff to be stolen. Africa is being raped and purged and stolen from every single day by people who don't even live in Africa. And they do nothing about it because they many of the citizens can't protect themselves or can't fight against the, 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 the uh, New World Order. I mean, my goodness, Bill Gates and his foundation will fly into Africa and, and hold experiments on these people and shoot them up with new diseases, new disease, I can't even speak, new diseases like Ebola and all these other things for fun. I mean, you, I mean, this is unreal. And, and here we are in uh, Iran where, you know, they don't have any protection against their corrupt government. They're protesting, they're protesting, but they don't have, the government understands that these people have no weapons to fight us. Yes, they could all come into the, to the government area and, and try to kill them. You know what I mean? But if they have their guards, if their military guards are, are there, then the, the citizens have no shot against weapons. You have no shot against weapons, right? Uh, knives don't have shots against weapons. You know, your body doesn't have any shot against weapons. You know what I mean? So you, you lose every time. So it's, it's, it's sad to see that people around the world have brought, bought into this liberalism of, you know, remove guns and let government run you and rule you. It's, it's, it's terrible. I don't know why they have allowed that to happen. Um, they can look at their lives and, and see that without guns, they, they become useless. They, they become, uh, you know, they, they're not a threat to, they're not a threat to their government. Their government is able to do whatever they want to these people at any time. Because the government knows they have no protection. They have nothing to fight uh, against the government with. So the government, when your government knows that you, you're, 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 you don't have any protection, they will turn radical. They will turn evil. Okay. And it's kind of, it's kind of sad because here you have the liberals in America fighting the Trump government, but yet telling people that they're in war, they're at war with the Trump government. But turning your guns at the same time, who turns in guns if they're at war, right? So you can see that the liberals want you to turn in your guns while you're at, while they're at war with the Trump administration and the Trump government. Now, 
if I turn in my guns while you guys are at war with the Trump and government and the Trump government starts coming at the citizens, I don't have nothing to protect myself. So I lose either way. Right. So we got to understand that the Democrats and the Republicans are working side by side, even if it doesn't look like it. They are. OK, yes, some of the Republicans are, are, are godly people and they want you to own guns. They love the country and they love God. Yes, some of the liberals are, are the same way, but many 90 percent of them are all working together to on the left side of you and the right side of you to destroy the country. That's why the you know some of their they're they're going to war against the, the Trump administration while telling you to give up your guns, so that if Trump administration and Trump's uh, government attacks uh, the citizens, you don't have nothing to protect yourself. So you lose either way, okay? And, pe and like like places like Chicago that are about to be invaded militarily, right? Those places are going to be devastated because, you know, yes, they have, yes, Chicago does have guns because they have been flooded by guns through, with the FBI and the CIA and things like that have flooded guns into those, into those areas uh, on purpose. Okay. So the blacks can kill each other. Okay. So that's, that, that's something that's, that we, everybody knows about. There's been stories of people saying, man, um, you know, I get home from school and there's guns sitting in the alleyways and stuff. So we know this is true. We've seen it. Many of the F former FBI and CIA members have said it themselves, you know, um, you know, so this is nothing that we don't know about. OK, so we know this is happening. Um, but at the same time, the liberals want you to turn in your guns while they're going to war against the Trump administration so that if Trump administration attacks the citizens, which he won't. But if he did, if the government attacked the citizens, you would be screwed either way. So you lose either way. And that's what they want you to do. They want you to lose. They want the American citizens to lose because the American citizens are holding up the new world order. So they need to, they need to pretend that they hate each other, you know, so they can get both, so they can get the citizens to lose either way. But if you don't turn in your guns, if you protect yourself, and if you love the Trump government, then they're, then you, they really, really are angry at you, right? So they really, really are angry at those who love the Trump government and have guns. You know, I'm not saying that you have to love the Trump government because Trump is doing things that I don't, I don't like as, as well. Um, but at the same time, you know, this is more about um, protecting yourself and your family. Make sure you're not, you know, turning in your weapons. Make sure you're not doing any of the things that the government, that the, especially the leftist government and the New World Order is telling you to do. You know what I mean? We don't want to be a part of that. We, we want to make sure we stay true to ourselves, true to God, and protect our families and friends. Okay? These people in the other countries have been brainwashed, have been manipulated, and... The fact that these people are screaming on, 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 on Twitter, screaming on social media that they rather not have guns and they rather be because they think that people without guns are, 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 are holy. They think people without guns are, are not, are, are, are out of the corruption. They think people with, that don't have guns are, are, are more better than people with guns. So they rather be invaded and be wiped out, their generations wiped out, their bloodlines wiped out. They rather be slaves to governments uh, because of, they've been brainwashed to, to be told that those who own guns are evil people and are part of the corrupt government. So they rather not have guns and they rather be pistol whipped and, and go through hell and go through a slave and be be enslaved and be uh, you know be destroyed and be wiped away and their generation be wiped away because they have been taught since they were young by the West, not by their country, but by the West because the West have infiltrated and they have been told um, not to own guns, not to not to own guns, not to protect themselves because it they, it makes them part of the evil corruption governments that they're trying to get rid of unbelievable brainwashing and these people believe it to the t and they will come at you they will yell at you 
And uh, it's sad. It's sad, man. It's sad that the people that are brainwashed are trying to convince those that are not brainwashed uh, to come back into being brainwashed. And we're not gonna we're not gonna be brainwashed. We're not gonna. We've already been brainwashed many of our, most of our lives. We've come out of that. We've we, we've come out of the matrix. We've come out of the cabal in New World Order to lead us, and we are we're fighting against that. Uh, we see them for who they are. Uh, we, we we're not selling out. We're not doing any of that stuff, and we're and we are not those who you know who just give up guns and give up our. Well, the reason why America is powerful is because we of of weapons. You know, technology and weapons is why America is powerful. Why the American citizens have a voice around the world is because of technology and weapons, right? You remove weapons, you're in big, you're, you're done. You, you lose all your power when you give up weapons. If America gave up all our weapons today, we would be the, we would be the, we, we would not be America any longer, okay? We would be called a different name, um, and we would have all types of different people in this country running it because we would be powerless. If America gave up our weapons, we would be powerless. So those that are on the left telling us to give up our weapons, if our government gave up our weapons, we would be powerless. If the citizens give up their weapons, they're powerless. So what they so what do the left want? They want the American citizens to be powerless because they cannot bring in a new world order until you give up your weapons. Okay? Because they know anybody who invades America with citizens having guns will lose. Okay? You invade America right now, you're going to lose. Okay? Your your country will lose. But if we can take, uh, we, if we can take, if the, the leftists are saying, if we can continue to drill, we give, or give up your guns, and we can have 60% of Americans or 70% or of Americans give up their guns, then we can have if China and Russia and other countries invade America and destroy our citizens, and, and we can bring in the New World Order. That's their whole goal, right? Destroy the citizens of America and bring in a new world order. And because Americans do not want to give up their guns and are not giving up their guns fast enough, it's very angry. You saw how Obama was when he said my my one of my biggest failures uh in, in my eight years was uh getting guns out of the American citizens' hands and he was very upset. Does that sound like a guy that 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 we should be praising? Does that sound, and unless you're a leftist and that's what you believe in because you've been brainwashed to believe that, but anybody else with common sense instead of the liberals, anybody with common sense knows that that's an enemy to your country. A president saying that his, his one of his biggest uh, things that he couldn't get done was getting the guns out of the citizens' hands. When our constitution says that we should have guns to protect ourselves against tyranny and the invasion of people and also the corruption of our government. For then a president to say, my biggest mistake was not being able to get the guns out of the citizens of America. And that's who people are praising. Uh, that's what black, especially you black people, I can't, you black people are praising this man and he wanted to take your guns to make you slaves again. The quicker they take your guns, the quicker you become a slave. Some of you guys are already slaves now. Many, many of you guys are working 90 hours a week, you know, 80 hours a week, 70 hours a week at, at, at plantations, at jobs and stuff, right? They, they've already made several ways to make you slaves, you know what I mean? But if they take away your gun, you definitely become a slave. You become Iran. You become Iraq. You become people that, that have no power when they take your guns away. And all of these people right here are for gun are, are for taking away guns because they have sold out to the new world order. So they even if even, even if they love guns, they can't tell you that they love guns. Even if they love guns, they have to tell you that gun control needs to happen and and people need to take take guns away. Even the hardest rappers are talking about yeah we need to do something about guns and the we gun we need to take guns away we need to take guns. Because they're they're being they they're being told to say that. All of these new world order puppets, right? And so they have deceived the world, and they have deceived so many people around the country, around the uh, universe, you know. And those people are now the brainwashed people are now 
making it known that they're brainwashed all over social media. Because anybody who tells me or tells you that they don't want to be protected by guns and, and they don't want to protect their own family and friends and their neighborhoods and their country, that's a brainwashed person. Because what you're saying is you want to be a slave. You want to be you want your land and your family and families to be raped and pillaged and, and purged and, and manipulated. You and you and you uh, and you're OK by being by being wiped out. Your whole generation, your whole bloodline, you are okay for uh, your families being wiped out. That's what you're telling us when you're telling, when you say you don't want to be, you don't like to be, you don't want to be protected by guns. You don't want to have guns. You don't want to be protected by guns. That's what you're telling us because the enemy, the enemy loves guns and they're going to come in and they're going to wipe you out and annihilate you. And not just that. Sometimes the enemy doesn't want to annihilate you. Sometimes the enemy, enemy wants to torture you. So they'll come in with, will come in with in vaccines and, and injections, and they'll use you as test dummies because you can't protect yourself, and you're not going to fight them off. So they'll come in with guns, and they'll come in with, uh, with, with these uh, needles and stuff, and they will use you as test dummies, and you can't do nothing about it. What are you going to do? Scream and throw rocks? So it's unbelievable what we're seeing around the world and how people are, you know, yelling at uh, other people saying we don't want guns. We, we, we'd rather be slaves. Um, the New World Order has done a great job in manipulating people's minds and brainwashing people. And we just need to pray for people to open up their minds, wake up, come out of their coma stages and understand that if you can't protect yourself, you're useless. You're useless to society. You're useless to the world. If you can't protect yourself, if you can't protect your family, if you can't protect your community, if you can't protect your, your state, if you can't protect your country, you're useless. You're useless because that means that the enemy can have, the enemy is planning your demise because at some point the enemy will come in and invade and wipe you out. And so what, what a shame that would be to, 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 to know that one day the enemy is going to come in and wipe you out and you don't have, you don't want to do nothing about it. You'd rather be wiped out. What a shame. What a shame that the elitists have brainwashed our people and people around the world so bad that they'd rather be wiped out than to protect their families and friends. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Tyra Banks doing it the other <laughs> trying to be unique about it. Unbelievable. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Uh, eyes open and uh, thanks for listening and uh, uh, check out the other videos on the channel and God bless you. And uh, man, we need to pray for these people, man. We need to pray for these people because these people have been brainwashed by and, and, it's, and, and, and their lands are going to continue to get destroyed. Their lands are going to continue. The regimes, the, the, the governments are still going to continue to be corrupt and they're going to be continuing to be experiments to the new world orders. Unbelievable. And they accepting it because they re refuse to arm themselves and fight against the satanic cabal. Eyes open.